What's up YouTube? This is Tim at Tim's Garage. Today we're going to do a review on the 40 pound sand blaster from Harbor Freight. And we'll go over the, the goods and the bads and then we're going to do a demonstration sand blasting some paint off of the panel. Alright, enough with the talk. Let's begin. Alright, here it is unpackaged. First off, I'm going to go through the components it comes with. Comes with a nice big red funnel to pour your sand in. Around here we got a pressure pressure gauge, water separator, on off ball valve. Be sure to pick you up a connector here for your your air hose. It does not come with an air air fitting. Then we got the the discharge hose, which which is a little short works but you have to get the blaster close to your workpiece I've already did a run on this blaster and about 30 seconds of use this ball valve as you can see blowed a hole in the side and started blowing sand all over my hands so I done away with the ball valve put the tip right on the end of the hose also it has a little rubber grommet behind this piece you want to take it out it looks like it looks like this small hole gets clogged up real easy so I took it out It comes with this little cheesy hood to keep the sand out of your face. I recommend getting something better, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to use it anyway. It doesn't come with rubber gloves, so you might want to get you some rubber gloves. That sand tends to hurt the hands. And to my knowledge, Harbor Freight does not sell any sand to go in it, so I picked up this black diamond you can get it at your local tractor supply I think it's like $7.99 a bag this thing goes through some sand so you might want to grab a couple of bags there's the part number for any of you need the part number I've got the fine it tends to stop up with the medium grit all right well, I'm going to pause here just a second and get this thing suited up. I know y'all want to see it in action. So let me get suited up and we'll start back. Alright, I found a way to use this, this cheap hood is have your ball cap. Because the glass don't want to stay where you can see. So I put it on like this. Hold my cap over here like that to hold it. Hold it where to stay positioned right. Next, we're going to put the air hose up. I recommend having a decent size air compressor. You probably need a, at least a 10 CFM air compressor. I would recommend wearing long sleeves, but it's hot outside and I got pretty tough skin, so. We're going to roll with short sleeves, but definitely get the gloves. Alright, what you want to do is turn your, your air valve on, get you some air pressure going. Not a lot. Then turn your bottom valve on to let the sand out.
all right we got this piece blasted as you can see that was actual time uh, does fairly good job it goes through some sand so depending on how big a work piece you got you might want to make sure you get plenty of sand and I do recommend long sleeves that sand tends to sting a little bit I probably went through half a bag of sand doing that little piece but for the money I think it's $99.99 you can catch it on sale for $84.99 sometimes I'd have to give it a rating of 6 out of 10 all right thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit like and subscribe stay tuned for the next video thanks